YouTube. Uh, right now, as you can see from the video title, this is how to activate Windows 7 for free with the uh, uh, Windows tool by Daz, the uh, Windows loader. Um, a lot of people have said pretty good stuff about it, and I think it's actually pretty good. There's just one really big problem about this program. The program itself works completely fine. It's just how to find a good genuine version of it because uh, Windows Loader is always just really hard to find because whenever someone gives out a link to download the program, it's just all viruses and all that. Uh, this video will be from my Google Drive, so this is almost positive. I'm almost positive this is not a virus. So as you can see, um, this is running off of VirtualBox because uh, right now underneath it, I'm running Windows 10. Um, so it might be a little bit slow, but I have tested it on my real PC over there um, with Windows 7 on a real hard drive, and it works completely fine. This this totally works. Um, as you can see, I am this thing needs to be activated. So I am about to type in the link that I have for my Google Drive in the description. So there it is. And... There's a text file and there's a program with it. Just download the program because I thought the text I thought the program had a password on it, password protected, but it's not. So just download the program. Sorry, my cat. Can't see him. Okay. So click that opening. that Chrome and then there should be another prompt that comes up yep also uh, if you use this program and it says unsupported partition table it, this thing will not work in GPT it only works in MBR apparently um, so just be aware that if it doesn't work here in GPT, I figured this out on my computer back there um, where I was running GPT and it told me I had to reinstall Windows in MBR form. And that really pissed me off, but I didn't know it was okay. So yeah, this is what the program looks like. Okay, sorry about that. I had to move into my garage, switch places. Also, if you're, if you're hearing some like weird noises, like humming noises, that's from that. It's just let you guys know. Okay, so as I was gone, um, nothing changed. It's still not activated, and I still have this program loaded. So I have not touched it, and let's try it out right now. And this will require a system reboot. I've heard things again, I don't know if I already said this or not, but about it not working in UEFI mode. Um, a lot of people are saying it's, that doesn't work in UEFI. Uh, I turned it on my desktop, and now it was running UEFI, and it worked completely fine. So, I don't know. This is running off our virtual box, so I don't know what it is, to be honest. This might take a little while, so... You can go ahead and feel free to skip through the video if you want. Alright, so it just completed and I have, I just got prompted to restart my computer. So I will do that. Just let me put these programs out. Still not activated, but uh, it will activate as soon as this computer restarts. So I will be back when it restarts. Okay. Okay, so my computer just restarted and I'm waiting for this to load. Okay, here uh, back again. Uh, 
trying to keep this video short so that you might see it like stop or start from whatever reason. Okay. Um, now we're going to go to the start menu. Right click on computer. Go to properties. And don't wait for it. Windows is activated. So drop a like. Um, thanks for watching. This is legit. This will, I will have the link in the description for my Google Drive. And that will lead you to the program. And all you gotta do is install it from there. It could be a lot quicker. This video could be a lot quicker, but since this is running off of VirtualBox, this is why it's this long. So feel free to leave a comment if my link for some reason dies. I will try to make a new one. If for whatever reason, for whatever reason it does not work. But thanks again for watching and subscribe.